Good afternoon everyone, welcome back after a week's break. Still quite knackered actually. <laughs> but anyway, uh, gotta move gotta move this project on. Um yeah, managed to find a pallet. It was uh double double the, the, the length. So I've cut it down and uh I've tried the engine on, so I'm gonna put the block in across here and the box in front of it with the sump on top of the box with some cardboard in between um, i'm going to wrap all the bits the, the block the box and the sump with uh, this black wrap courtesy of my mate jamie um, i won't be able to put anything on the pallet in this specific episode um, but i can get it all all finished so what i'm going to need to do is tomorrow i need to or arrange a courier and what i'm going to do is uh for, for for next week's video i'll put some bits on there um and uh and basically yeah uh, and what i'm going to do is um strap the engine down lengthways um to the pallet i'm going to get a couple of um screw in um hook loops some big chunky ones so I can uh, buy a couple of uh, cheap ratchet straps, you know, the, the narrow two inch ones, I think they, they are, something like that in width. Or might be even an inch actually. Uh, no, probably about an inch. Um, and strap this down. I was going to put some screws through the the, uh, the sump thread holes. Not a good idea. I thought about it properly. <laughs> Not a good idea. So I'm going to strap across, obviously once it's been um, protected, waterproofed with the, uh, with the wrap. Uh, anchor it to the pallet. Uh, I'm going to put some cardboard bumpers on the uh, uh, the um, bell housing bit of the engine and on the corners just to make sure nothing gets bumped and damaged and broken because of course it's aluminium. Um, wrap this up, uh, put a piece of cardboard here, put the sump on top and uh, wrap that up. So waterproof it all basically. Um, for this is pretty much it for this bit of the video what i'm going to be doing um in the next bit is um it, it's thursday today i need to finish this i need to finish this um and get it to the the chap who is um going to finish it off uh, for me um i'm not quite not telling me quite yet what's what's going to be done to it um i'm going to keep that as a little bit of a surprise um i need to get the stickers made so uh, I used my nice clean hands on the day to basically oil brass rub to, onto the paper. It worked, no issues. Um, so I can put um, vinyl on top of this when it's finished. Um, we're going to see how it goes with the thin ones. I'm thinking they'll probably end up curling and coming away. But we'll do not, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, if only the 16 valve stays behind, I'll be quite happy. Either way, if it doesn't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get too uh, pissed off about that. But, uh, but yeah, I need to get this finished. It's I need to really get my ass in gear. It's a shit job. I really don't want to do it. But it's that's this is literally all that's left to do um, on it and prime it. So that's what we're gonna do in a bit. So. Uh, I'm going to catch up with you, hopefully do it tomorrow, if not, I'll do it on Saturday and uh, put that little bit of the project to bed and get it sent to uh, to, to the chap, a chap called Daz, who's going to sort it out for me and um, we'll wait and see what happens next week with sending the bits away down to uh, Thurston Engineering, to, uh, to Baz at Thurston Engineering um, and his team, so uh, see you in a bit. Welcome back. 
so put the light back on come on right that's better um yeah two hours later um and the shit job is done excuse the flickering lights well, leds nowadays aren't they and it's uh the cover is finally back to a uh, blank canvas so um so that's mission accomplished i'm gonna get that uh, across to uh to daz and get that sorted out and uh, that's another little small step near uh, completing the project one big chunk obviously as you've seen to be done but uh, i'm going to wrap those off screen uh, wrap them up um, with the wrap kindly donated by by jamie um take the pallet outside on um the morning of the collection and just basically lash everything down so uh shouldn't be too bad so in the next bit i'll be putting the hooks into the pallet putting the uh, ratchet straps on um and uh well, buying the ratchet straps and getting everything ready to uh to get sorted out so uh i'll see you in a bit good afternoon everyone welcome back so done some shopping i bought uh these little uh, ratchet straps from uh b m six pound each pretty good value i thought but um i think in the shop actually i think they were down to three pound each um if i recall correctly i can't remember oh yeah i think they were, yeah down to three pound each um I think. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I've had a go. I put one on. Get a bad over the top. Um, and they'll do the job without any issues. So, so that's it for. That's that's about it for now. I'm going to release the tension. That obviously not going to leave it on there because I need to wrap it with the black wrap um, um, to to make sure. I'd, you know, no shit and grit gets in there, so I'll seal it all up. I'll do the same with the box, uh, with the crank and the pistons in and a couple of other bits. Um, I'm also uh, I'm going to do the same with the sump. The sump, of course, will go on top of that, and um, I'll strap it all, strap it all down onto the uh, onto the pallet. So uh, right, I'm going to end the video here. It's been a pretty crap video, um, but. I admit, I apologise, but uh, you know, um, they can't always be uh, can't always be productive. Although this is productive, but um, yeah. So of course, because I can't get get it all wrapped up on the pallet on in the garage, because obviously I can't get it past the car. Obviously, there's additional shite here than there is than there, that normally isn't there. But um, I'm going to have to do it at the back of the garage. Um, and basically uh and wait for the uh the courier on the day so i've got to weigh the pallet i know the weight of the block i know the weight of the, the crank and the pistons and the sump i'll have a rough idea um but uh it'll give me an approximation for the courier so uh so it's all good so um i'll catch you soon um there probably won't be a video next week because i've got uh, other things going on so uh, it'll probably be a week after that, but um, by that time, quite more than likely, the engine will have gone, unless there's a drastic change of plan or anything. Um, I can't see anything like that at the minute happening, but uh, it's all good. So thanks as ever for following my adventure and uh, welcome on board to all the new subscribers. And if you know anyone who would like the, to view the channel, like the content, please give it a share to help the channel grow a little bit and uh, as ever uh, stay safe take care look after yourselves and uh, see you next time